Welcome back to McNulty's Book Row. Today we're going to talk about Speaks the Nightbird by Robert McCammon. This was published, I think, back in 2002. It's been on the market for some time. This is a historical thriller. It is the first of his books featuring a young clerk named Matthew Corbett, who works for the magistrate named Wood Woodward. And in this book, it takes place in 1699, I believe. And in this book, um, they go end up in a town, the magistrate ends up in a town where he has to investigate the accusations of witchcraft against a beautiful young woman named Rachel who Matthew Corbett falls in love with. So it's kind of a love story, falling uh, falling in love, coming of age type tale with horrific gothic style elements and it's a mystery. Um, I wouldn't say supernatural, I would you know, I'd say it, it's, a, it's a historical thriller with gothic style elements. Um, and that's all I really want to say about that much of it. Um, you need to read it um, to get it. So the story unfolds slowly. This is a meticulously crafted book. It's really long. It has very, very small print. Um, so the best way to read this is a couple chapters a night. And just savor it. Let it unfold. Let the tale unfold. McCammon is an excellent writer. Um, it's interesting. You know, he had written horror novels back in the day and then had stopped writing for quite some time. Um, and then returned in the early millennium with this book, and now there's a series of these, four or five. Um, I'm going to read them in order, because I want to see how um, Corbett develops, how he matures. This would be the first, which is coming-of-age story. I'd like to see what happens to him in the future. And because uh, McCammon is such a good writer, uh, you know, I'm sure I'll be engrossed. Don't, you don't, don't rush this one. Um, take your time. Let it unfold. He wrote it that way. Um... <clears throat> get yourself lost in the world of Matthew Corbett and uh, this uh, this little town where they think witches are controlling it. There is evil in here. There's a character in here who is so evil that uh, you're going to love him. So, um, great book. Probably one of the best. Uh, this is going to be one of my best of the year. Another one. Uh, it took me, obviously, a long time to, uh, to get to this. Uh, if it was published back in 2002. But the good news is, now that I've read this, I know that I'll read all of the others uh, coming up next by him. And if you'd like, I'll report on them. Let me know in the comments. Um, Speaks the Nightbird, a historical thriller. A uh, really uh, fascinating and tough, um, meticulously crafted uh, masterpiece uh, in the thriller genre. Really enjoyed this book. Again, one of my favorites uh, of the year, no doubt, no doubt at all. So if you're familiar with Robert McCammon's uh, horror novels from back in the day and you haven't read anything lately, um, pick up Speaks the Nightbird and let's, uh, let's ride the trail with this one. It's a lot of fun. In the meantime, you stay well, stay happy, feed your brain, and read Speaks the Nightbird by Robert McCammon.